Welcome. All right, so now we're going to get into some fun ones, right? Uh, so now I have a binomial up top and a binomial in the bottom, uh, or my denominator. But all I need to do is, all I'm concerned about is eliminating my binomial in the denominator. So to do that, I have to multiply by the conjugate. Well, in this case, if I have a minus 3i, the conjugate is going to be a plus 3i. So I multiply by my conjugate in the denominator. And I have to make sure I multiply it in my numerator. So now I have a couple different products. I have 7 plus 4i times 2 plus 3i, and I have 2 minus 3i times 2 plus 3i. So a lot of times to kind of keep this non-confusing and keep everything together, I'll just create two different boxes to do each one of these. Now, it's nice if you don't know your special products. This is a difference of two squares and can be done fairly um, much easier than the product of this. But if you don't know or you can't remember how to do it, then we can just simply go back to our box method. So to do that, what I'll do is I'll do the product of my numerator. And then I'll do the product of my denominator. All right. so. That's going to look like this. So the numerator is going to be 7 plus 4i, and then it'll be 2 plus 3i. Where over here, my product of my denominator is going to be 2 minus 3i times 2 plus 3i. All right, so now what we're going to do is just find the product of each one of our uh, little rectangles. 7 times 2 is 14, 2 times 4i is 8i, 7 times 3i is 20, 21 i. 3i times 4i is going to be a 12i squared. I'll get to the i squared later. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative 3i is a negative 6i. 2 times 3i is a positive 6i. And 3i times negative 3i is a negative, I, negative 9i squared. All right. So remember, this is my numerator, right? So let's just go and simplify this. The nice thing I, I like about the box method is I notice that these two have i, which we can combine. And then this, i squared, we can rewrite as a negative 1. Well, 12 times negative 1 equals negative 12. Therefore, now these two are numbers, and I can combine these two. So I have 14 minus 2, 12, which is going to be 2. And then 21 plus 8i is going to be a positive 29i. So as I multiply these, I have 2 plus 29i. That's my new numerator, right? By multiplying this product, that's what I got. Now, the nice thing about the denominators, and the reason why we have to multiply by our conjugate, is you can notice that our middle terms now add up to 0. So I don't even have to worry about them. Because 6i minus 6i is 0i, which would be 0. Then I rewrite my i squared as a negative 1. And then negative 9 times negative 1 is now going to be a positive 9. And you can see 4 plus 9, I can now combine these, is just going to leave me with 13. So therefore, now I have my final answer. My denominator is going to be 2 plus 29i divided by 13. Well, notice I can divide this 13 in both those terms so I can make sure my answer is in the form of a plus bi. So therefore, I have 2 over 13 plus 29i over 13. And that is going to be my final answer. Thanks.